being called a massacre, and you will see there are some gruesome scenes from inside a local hospital. We can't even show you scores of wounded and bloody victims laying on the floor amid the chaos. Yemen's president refusing to step down today, warning that al-Qaeda will take control of the country if he does. Our Greg Palcott live in London with the very latest force. A real crackdown. What's the latest on the violence there, Greg? Hey, John, Jamie, we've been on the phone with our contacts inside of Yemen. As I understand it, no international media is in there now. There's been a kind of a shutdown uh, regarding the government and the press. Yemen, of course, has been strategic to the United States all along in the last couple of years. It's home to a very dangerous al-Qaeda chapter. We invested there. These new clashes are happening in the town of Taiz. That is in south central Yemen. It is the second biggest city, in fact, in Yemen. And finally, after a couple of days of protests, the Republican Guard, the, the elite unit of the Yemeni uh, military, went in there overnight and, as you noted, uh, started killing using live fire. At least 20 reported killed, scores more injured, and there have been more trouble in the last couple of uh, days and in the last couple of hours in another place, a place called Jinjabar. That is a town along the coast. Uh, uh, individuals, Islamic militants with ties to that al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula chapter have actually taken over the town. They've taken over government offices and just in the past 12 hours have killed Yemeni soldiers who were trying to take it back uh, outside of the town. And we've heard in the past just a couple of hours there have been hits by the Yemeni Air Force to the town. Uh, again, the fear is, as you noted, John, that uh, the security vacuum might create an opportunity for al-Qaeda there. Uh, the U.S. and U.K. embassies are down to a skeleton staff, John. How is President Saleh responding to all of this, Greg? And, and is what he's saying perhaps an attempt to hang on to power? Yeah. Uh, in fact, John, he, he, he's turning out to be one of the survivors in this Arab Spring of President Saleh three times has, has gone into the motions of agreeing to a, an internationally uh, sanctioned uh, exit uh, from the country. Three times he has reneged on that. His response, in fact, in the past uh, 12 hours has been to cut off communications to a lot of people. I tried to reach one of my contacts there, and he, he got back to me and said my mobile phone, along with four million others, has been cut off. Again, he's been a benefactor to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars in USAID. Our concerns are the Al-Qaeda chapter. As you hint at, uh, John, there is some fear that he, he's playing that uh, card a little bit, saying that if he goes, Al-Qaeda goes in. And in fact, the United States and others have said that maybe he should go, and we'll figure out what the next step is there next. Back to you. All right. Greg Palcott, live in London for us this morning. Greg, thanks so much.